what's happening guys it's Ryan from Tweak My Device if you're tired of not having Google Wallet work on your Galaxy Nexus or your other NFC enabled device check this out I'm gonna show you how to download a patched version and push this onto your device first I want to give a quick thanks to Paul O'Brien at Modaco forums he created this patched file um, it disables the device check the carrier check and it disables the root access warning. So here it is to download right here. I'm going to give you a link to both his thread and a direct download link at the bottom of this video so just keep an eye out for that. But we want to give Paul props because I've tested this and it works. Um, the short of it is you're going to push this with Root Explorer or another root browser to data app and to system app. And the long of it is right here I'm about to show you. Check this out. So you can download it straight to your device and make it a little simpler. Or you can download it to your PC and just transfer it over to your device. But we're going to find a root browser. I use Root Explorer. And so navigate to your storage card where you downloaded it. And here it is for me has Madako in the name. This is the 1.579 V5. And we're going to tap and hold on that. Copy it. Scroll up to parent folder. And now you're in the main directory. So we can go into data, app, and let's paste it in here. And we want to set the permissions on this, so tap and hold, permissions, and uncheck write for group. Hit OK. Now you can back out. Go up again to your parent folder, and now back to the SD card. And we're going to copy this one more time. I'm going to put it in one more place. So up to parent, and this time we're going to go into system app. And once you're in system app you have to tap to mount RW. Once you've tapped it it'll say mount RO. Alright? And this is where you want to put this. So go ahead and paste. Good deal. There it is. And again we want to change permissions so tap and hold on that. Permissions and uncheck right for group. Hit OK. You can back out of that. Cool. So we're going to reboot the device. And it'll show as soon as we boot back up. We're booted back up and let's check in our app drawer. You can see we have Google Wallet installed. Tap into that and it should continue to set up without any update messages. Great. Whereas before, we would get a uh, forced update message to the market, and then, uh, I'm sorry, the Play Store, still not completely used to that, and then it would tell us our device is not compatible, when there's no reason our device should not be software or hardware compatible with this. It's just Verizon forcing us not to be able to use it. So there you go, guys. The long and the short of getting Google Wallet working on your NFC-enabled device. I hope this helped you. Subscribe to Tweak My Device on YouTube.